this video is example four of lesson six five on writing a complex number in rectangular form. So we're giving you a complex number that right now this is in polar form. So we did example three where we had a rectangular form and we've converted it to polar. Now we're doing the opposite. So if you review back to this slide here in your notes from a previous video, um, here is a complex number and we converted it to polar form. Now we're going to be switching it back to rectangular form. All right, so our polar form general equation is z equals r cosine theta plus i sine of theta from that yellow slide. And we have to identify what is the r value. So the r value in that equation is right here, number two. So r equals two. What does that r value represent? The r value is the distance that the complex number is is from the origin. Okay. The other thing we have to pick apart is the angle theta. So our angle theta is 60 degrees. What theta represents, it's the angle direction from the real axes. Okay. So here's your real axes and your angle is at 60 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and convert this back to rectangular form. Remember rectangular form is z equals a plus b i. We want to change it back to that. All right, so how we do that is here's your original polar form equation, 2 cosine of 60 degrees plus I sine of 60 degrees. Well, think about our unit circle back in unit 4. Here's 60 degrees, and it has an ordered pair of 1 half comma square root of 3 over 2. This is your cosine value of 60 degrees, and this is your sine value of 60 degrees. So we're going to go ahead and substitute in those exact values. So z equals 2. The cosine of 60 degrees is 1 half. Plus i sine of 60 degrees is exactly the square root of 3 over 2. And now we're going to simplify that. All right, now we're going to simplify this. So z equals 2 times 1 half. I'm going to interchange the order. I'm going to put this as the square root of 3 over 2i. Now I need to distribute that 2 into both of those terms. So z equals 2 times 1 half plus 2 times the square root of 3 over 2i. Continue simplifying. The twos are going to cancel, and the twos are going to cancel. 
So our complex number in rectangular form is 1 plus the square root of 3i. So remember, z equals a plus bi. This is our a value, and this is our b value. So if we go back up and graph this in our complex plane, we're going right 1 and then up the square root of 3. So this is what the pretty small complex plane there. So it's sitting right up in here. There is your z. And then this angle is right here at 60 degrees. And then this distance right here is a, a radius of 2, an r value of 2.